to do. Basically, we are going to create a new EC2 instance on Amazon Web Services. After creating a new EC2 instance, what we are going to do is we are going to deploy a Docker Compose file, which will have two different images. One is an API, which is developed in Rails, and the second one is Postgres database, which connects to the API, Rails API, okay? And then we are going to expose so we can uh, outside world, we can access it. So here is something that you can see here. I have loaded the data using the seed file from uh, Rails working here. So let's get going. The first thing we need to do is we can go to EC2 dashboard and then we can do a launch instance. We can use the free tier eligible. We can start. And we can select the one that is free tier eligible. So configure instance detail. We will keep everything default. For example, network VPC and then subnet default. No sub default subnet in an, any availability. Thing to use is protect against accidental termination. I will be basically removing this after I'm done with the video. Add storage, let's keep it default, whatever we have, add tags. Uh, for now, I don't need any tags, so I can do review and launch. Hmm. Let's see, previous, okay, create new security group. Okay, yeah, so one thing that we need to do for security group is we need to add rule. We need to add HTTP and HTTPS. Okay, and we are going to, basically we need SSH in order to connect to our EC2 instance of Amazon from the local machine. And then we can do like some installation on the EC2. I'm going to keep the same default name, security group name and all these things default. And I'm going to use a keypad that I generated earlier. Otherwise, in your case, you can click on create a new key pair here. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to select what I already have. So select a key pair, which is this. I acknowledge that I have access to this spam file, launch instance. We can click on view instance. Um, the one that is currently pending is this one. I can click on this and then I can click uh, copy this IPv4 address, public address. So I can go to terminal. On the terminal, you have to do SSH hyphen I name of the file that you have certi uh, certificate or PAM file. And then EC2 user that is default at the rate IP address, okay? In my case, the IP address is a new IP address. That was the one I tried earlier. So I'm going to use this, but I have to wait until this is changes into running. So let's get, refresh this. Okay, now it is running. Uh, status check is initializing. So I can go into this. Let me open up terminal. Let's try to connect. First time you will see this, basically fingerprint. So you can say yes. All right, now I'm connected to EC2 instance, okay? So next, next thing we wanna do is, I have a documentation where we can go onto the documentation and start executing some commands in order to deploy and install Docker on the EC2 instance, okay? So let's get going. We can basically skip to this sudo yum install update y, or let me do that, just doesn't hurt. And then, I have Amazon Linux too, so we can run this command in order to install Docker. It's installing. Then we can start the service. Yes, we can modify and install to 43 megabytes of application, sure. Now we are going to start the service, Docker service. We need to add this uh, user so we don't need any more uh, sudo command when the user executes. 
all the different commands you're using Docker. And then let's verify. Okay, did I miss something? Let's see. Got permission denied. Some cases, as you can see here on the documentation, it says cannot connect to daemon. It's a daemon running. If you get this error, we need to restart uh, the service. So let me log out. Log back in. Docker info. Perfect. It works now. Okay. So now that we have a Docker container running, what I'm what I'm going to demonstrate is, um, I have a Docker compose file. I'm going to explain the Docker compose file as well. So let me create a Docker compose file. Touch Docker YML, and then we can do vi Docker compose YML. I as an insert. Paste. I'm going to delete uh, volume since I was doing this locally. Uh, escape dd escape dd for deleting the line. Um, here, the image I have created a version two and why I'll explain why. I two. This might not work, and I know why. I have to modify the image. So I'll modify the image. Let me put version three here. Escape colon WQ, save and exit. Okay, so let's create a version three. So what we need for that, we need to basically open this address, copy this address, and put it into the Rails application. So basically we have a development hyphen rb file let's go back development here config.host we need to add the host here so the rails will allow Rails will allow all these hosts, which are whitelisted, to query the application. Okay, connect to our application and it will be exposed. All right, so let's get going. Now, what I what else I need to do here is, I need to create this image again. So, I might have those commands here. Okay, so I'm going to build uh, an image, version three. Then I'm going to create a tag here. Um, where is my readme file? Here I have commands to create a tag and then push it to my Docker Hub. Uh, this is my user ID and then name of the image from my local machine, what I'm trying to push onto the Docker Hub. Okay. And similarly, creating a tag, what we need to do is uh, this is the command Docker image tag. We are tagging the image name of the image that exists okay in this case i created a version 3 so i have to use colon version 3 here and then my username and then the name of the image once that is done we can basically get docker oh in the meantime we can install docker compose so to install Docker Compose, we have the new documentation from the Docker itself. So here we have a Docker in, uh, documentation. We can go to Linux. In the Linux, we can copy this command here. We have to install Docker Compose. So let's install. Voila, it's done. Now we can give permission. After providing the permission, we can create a sim link. And then we can basically verify. All right, so we have a Docker Compose install. Let's get back here. Now the new image is created. So let me clear this Docker images. As you can see here, we have a new image with version three, which was created 54 seconds ago. 
So let's create a tag. So here I'm going to update the version, version three here, and same here, version three. Created a tag, now let's push it to the Docker Hub, version three. Once I push this onto the Docker Hub, all I need to do is I'm, I can pull it. I believe I have created this public so I can pull it from uh, Docker Compose file without even logging onto my Docker Hub from EC2 instance. All right, so it's already pushed. So let's do Docker Compose up hyphen hyphen detach. So detach will run all the instances within the Docker Compose file of our images into the background. Okay, so we have a Postgres, we have blog, okay, blog API developed in Rails. Obviously, this is not the best practice because as you can see here, you can see the username and password. The purpose of this uh, video is to demonstrate how to basically create the environment and set it up. You will need to do more thorough investigation, I mean, research on how to basically use Docker secrets in order to hide your password and everything. So as you can see here, we created two different uh, containers. So let me clear the screen, Docker PS. PS will show the processes that are running right now. So we have two different processes. One, we have a blog API, which is connected to Postgres uh, database. But in order to, create, to connect, we need to create those database from the blog, okay? So let me log into this container, running container, docker exec hyphen interactive container ID, and then bash. So now I can execute the command. So bundle exec rake db create this created a database and then i can do migrate to migrate the data and then we'll seed the data so this is seeded already and then we can go back to our instance open up the public address So we have, okay, one mistake I made here is port 3000. It is redirecting to port 3000, which I need to update. So docker compose stop clear docker vi compose yaml interactive here. Uh, for my API, I need to expose it to 80, port 80 escape colon wq so now i can do docker compose up in detach mode now you can see it is redirected to port 80 localhost so let's get as you can see now we are connected to rails so let's oh, it's plural okay And then we can see post. So I seeded this data from the Docker Rails API. So let me show you Docker XVAC hyphen uh, IT interactive. Then I can go into this blog and then bash. So lscd db scat seeds. Notice here, I have added some of the data which we are seeing from the ABA. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next video. Please rate and comment so I can provide better and more information about development. I'll see you on the next time.